But where's my pie? Where's my apple? Too bad, sucker. Matt's back. <laughs> uh, the leaders also agreed for a U.S. proposal for a framework of sustainable and balanced well, growth. Here. It's yeah. green jobs, folks. When the people arrived to Pittsburgh, they saw and the unions were all uh, allegedly behind this. We will get new green jobs now. Where's Van Jones when we need him? Matt Kazee from 33rd Parallel News is allegedly back on the air. Thank you, Matt, for joining us again. Uh, thank you, thank you, Jack. I'm sorry about that. Cell phone's not working that good here. The death rays are knocking out your, <laughs> your cell phone? <laughs> I, was, I was beginning to think maybe they were there for a second. Uh, I wanted to tell you about yesterday. I got hit with the sound wave cannon yesterday. It is uh, definitely a painful, painful thing that, that just makes you... One. It did make uh, when you feel warm out, it's and pretty bad. Did make you feel warm and that, that's how they show they love you, Matt. <laughs> yes, they showed a lot of love yesterday by trying to blow our eardrums out by shooting tear gas and also beanbag uh, shotgun shells. A couple of people got hit with those. Does anyone out there have any protection? Are they going to these massive violent protests with? You know, we, we've talked about this in the program. You put a little uh, a wire mesh behind your sign. There's things you can do to protect yourself, earplugs, whatever. you see anyone out there uh, with any kind of protection? Uh, ironically, the ones who seem to be most protected are the anarchist kids who are ready to cause the problem. Well, um, if you're going to cause a problem, you should probably have protection, I guess. Yeah, I, you know, we, we went and got the earplugs last night, and... Uh, they did not break out the sound wave cannons today. Of course, today was the authorized march. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was all unauthorized, so they were yelling at us uh, left and right. Did any of it make any difference, Matt? I mean, I'm really glad people show up there. I'm glad you're there and you're safe and you're on the show today. But uh, did you see any of this that made a way of difference? Because I'm reading a story as you were trying to get the hook up again that the G20 leaders have declared this summit a massive success. All media outlets have not shown any of the protests, really, and just played the whole thing down as a few scraggler anarchists. Uh, on a grassroots roots level, it was definitely successful. A lot of people who didn't know anything about this in the city learned a lot the past two days. Uh, last night on the news coverage, I saw the mayor was just trumpeting a massive success uh, right at the same time as Oakland was erupting and they're cracking down with tear gas. Uh, the mayor was saying that they can't wait to do it again. It's one of the best things that's ever happened to the city, and uh, he, he feels like they did a good job. Do you have any numbers on uh, arrests? I know they had been strategizing and setting up kind of little gitmos over there where they can take people and hold them and interrogate them. Uh, what numbers do we have on how many arrests or how many injured? Have you have you heard anything like that? Uh, I, I think the numbers are pretty low. Uh, yesterday there were more arrests than today. I didn't see anybody get arrested today. Yesterday I saw a few people get arrested. Um, so I think the numbers are pretty low. What was behind the the police attacking students at the University of Pittsburgh yesterday? Did you hear about that? Uh, I did. I saw the news coverage last night. I, I've heard multiple stories. I heard that from some people that the students weren't doing anything and that they got attacked wrongly. I've also heard from others that some anarchist kids were up there starting to throw rocks, but I can't confirm that. What was behind, I'm sure you saw this kind of Kafka-esque military kidnapping of a protester. This is spinning all over the web today. Some people saying that it's fake. It's kind of hard to, to see it as fake when the police are there kind of protecting these guys in military fatigues. Have you heard anything about that? What, who was that kid and what happened to him and what was he doing? Uh, you know, I haven't really heard that much about that, uh, Jack, but I definitely yeah, saw a lot of uh, military guys in full fatigues. Uh, patrolling the streets, look like different task forces, uh, also National Guard, and what appeared to be uh, maybe Army. I'm not sure, but that's what it looked like. So there definitely were military then enforcing uh, order in Pittsburgh because uh, there was some, I think, it was very vague, in other words, about you know why these guys were wearing fatigues, who they were working for. I, I don't think anybody really knows at this point, but you think they were definitely military? Oh, without a doubt. I mean... When you see just the operation that they're running, and they've got Humvee parked, blocking off areas of town, I mean, it's absolutely military. I don't know exactly which groups. I did see National Guard, but then I also saw what appeared to be Army folks. Hmm. Did you see any sheriffs there on yes. the ground? Yes, I did see a lot of sheriffs' uh, deputies around.
Did you get to talk to any of the police, Matt, about what they were doing there and, and how they felt about, you know, going after American citizens who were really just redressing their grievances? We tried and tried and tried. They ignored us. Uh, wouldn't respond. Every once in a while you would meet a, a cop who was uh, a pretty decent individual and would talk to us for a little bit and just say, you know, I'm trying to do my job. That's uh, when we had to go up against the Secret Service in New York in 04. That's how they were trained. Just, just ignore you and, and get you when they have to. I, I'm sure they've undergone some of the same training. I wonder what the police think about Arizona police, Florida police, Virginia police from all over the country going onto their turf. Uh, who, who's giving the orders? That's a good question, Jack. I would like to know that, that myself. I have no idea. I know that uh, any time you try and get any answers from any of the police, just like you said, they ignore you. Have the uh, police given the campus of the University of Pittsburgh back now? Uh, do, you, do you know what's going on there? Yes, I believe they. I believe they have. I think it was just something that happened last night, and then by by midnight, one a.m., it was already starting to wind down. Okay. How many? How many end the Fed? signs did you see how many signs against central banking did you see you see any of them quite a few good uh there were a lot of folks who were definitely uh promoting that and you know it was strange though to see so many ca uh, capitalist signs like down with capitalism up with socialism i mean i just don't get it i don't understand how they're that they're going to do any better than what we've got now, which is basically a socialist government anyway. Yeah. It just seems to me that there is no utopia, and the free market with an educated consumer base is the closest thing we're going to get to have being having a fair system for everybody. But then again, we're right-wing extremists, Matt, so <laughs> of course we're going to think like that. We listen to Rush Limbaugh every day and, 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 and copy his every word. That, 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 oh, maybe we don't. Oh, we're actually thinking for ourselves and have been reading about what the free market really is. You think it's possible we'll ever get through to these people, or are they just robot radicals and reactionaries? Um, I would have to lean towards the last statement, where I don't, I'm not 100% sure you can get through to these people. When you try to talk to them, they get angry. They, they start uh, cussing you out and saying you're a capitalist pig, and that's about it. I, I did want to tell you this, though, Jack. Last night... Uh, I don't know if anybody happened to see it, but the NBC News, uh, um, Brian Williams was there doing his live feed. I saw And we bullhorned his entire show. Uh, I was calling out Brian Williams for being a fraud, for covering up the expansion of the war, and those guys had all freaked out. Now, they sent their, the producers out to us who told us we should go bullhorn Fox News, and they're right down there. Go bullhorn Fox News. That was, you, we, that was you bullhorning Brian Bright Eyes Williams? Yes, that was I heard me, it, but I, Luke, couldn't, I couldn't hear what you guys were saying. He thanked you at the end. <laughs> right on. That's good. I can't wait to see it. Um, yeah, that was me and Luke and a few people. Well, thanks for joining us. Matt Kazee, 33rd Parallel News, folks. Look him up on the Internet. We'll be right back with the show.